close enough. Greetings, I am Cross Knights. This is Let's Play Stardew Valley Year 2 Summer Edition. And I uh, did some ma- Pfft. Stabbed my wife by accident. I did some massive farming yesterday. And, um... Yeah. Oh. I also dropped off sashimi at some point. So I want to get the house upgrade. I can do that now. Uh, are you going to talk to me now? No? Alright. It's, it's like glitching out where sometimes Abigail doesn't talk to me and I don't know what's up with that. But uh, yeah, I did so much farming yesterday. Like a ridiculously large amount of farming. What do I need for sprinklers? I have that in spades. Let me uh, whip a few more of those up. Because I got more seeds that I want to plant. I do indeed. So boom, 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 and boom, 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 boom. Five should do it, hopefully, for now. Probably more than do it for now. Alright, so... Whack. Whack. And plant. Plant. You gotta plant the sprinklers before you plant your seeds. And then you will succeed. <laughs> I'm a pun master! And plop. Okay. And you're watered, yes. And you're not existing. Eh. Okay. Come here. <laughs> I'm sure things will be there eventually. Just so things look nice. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, I um I definitely want to go to the desert today. I definitely want to get the maximum health uh house upgrade up today. And I think that might be, those might be my only real, like, huge things. Yeah. Alright, cool. And look at that! Coffee beans! I got four of them. I'm just gonna take them outside really quickly. And plant them. You see what's happening, right? You see what can happen. My coffee empire shall be vast. And frightening and caffeinated. Near. Other adjectives, maybe. So I guess first. Um. Okay. I, I want to do this as quickly as possible. I guess it doesn't matter. I just want you to make sure that I catch Robin. But, um. I need one more hardwood. In fact, let's just take all of my hardwood with me. Oh, man. If I, if I put this truffle in now. Maybe there'll be another truffle, and I can get another, another truffle. Who knows, though. Should really save extra truffles. Oh, look at that. So hopefully I'll be able to put this in before day's end, and then I'll get, uh, you know, like 3,000 gold total for all that. Alright, axe it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Pickaxing a tree, not that effective. So that's enough, but, you know. It's not like I'll never need hardwood ever again. And I wish I was a little bit more diligent on collecting it. Especially on the days where... There's a few days where I wasn't doing too much. Like, that's why I was able to do so many days yesterday. I was just letting the, the spring run out. And I didn't get hardwood on every single one of those days. I definitely should have. That would have put me pretty much there. Then I could have had the house upgrade already. But why uh, worry about things that... We're not. Also, this is, um, well, there's, uh, green slimes here. It's a nice time to get your slime killing ratio up, I guess. So you come in here, you can kill, like, eight slimes. Yeah, I don't know. If I had done that every day, I guess I still wouldn't be at a thousand, though. But smash. That statue no longer has a message when you talk to it. You can't, uh, give it more sweet drops in order to get more... Uh, star fruit or anything, but that was probably obvious. But off to Raboons, where I hope that she doesn't require anything besides hardwood. Uh, house upgrade. Boom! <laughs> Thank you, I'll get started tomorrow. I should be finished around three days. Excellent. How you doing, Robin? Alright, you're a stone statue that refuses to talk to me. I guess I'll accept that, because I have little to no choice. But weird. Got that set up. I do want to make another 
another plot of land just to get my extra stuff. I just need to figure out where exactly. I think I'm gonna implement some extreme hoeing techniques. That should do it. Watch out, Van Helsing! Oh, he's fine. He'll be fine. There we go. I hoed a plot of land a little bit. <laughs> Kinda not... Not that big, though, was it? Almost pointless to do that, I suppose. But yeah, I could put another one here. Right. Let's see. It's easier to tell what I'm actually capable of when I put the, uh... Those down. So we got one, two, three... It Extreme hoeing. I'm all about the extreme hoeing. Uh, there, and then here. Excellent. In retrospect, I don't know how good this was, but I just took all... Oh, no I didn't. I still have two spangles left. Whatever, I'll save them. Um, I just took most of my seeds and just planted them down there. Whatever. Um, I don't know if that that wasn't the best place for those bean things, though. But... And I even had... So what, is, what is this? I have strawberries and beets in the fall. Alright, whatever. None of that matters. <laughs> I was gonna go to the desert, but it's, it's actually too late now, isn't it? So... Can't do that. Um, tomorrow, the only thing that I definitely need to remember is that it is Jazz's birthday, and I think I have the perfect gift for her. So, I don't need to worry that much. I just need to kind of, you know, be here at the right time. Well, I didn't even collect the eggs and stuff yet. Uh, there. <laughs> but yeah, so this was... um. This was good. I finally got all of my farming stuff up. I got Robin to take my uh, my job. Oh, the, I still have this gigantic TV that I've had this entire time. And I haven't rearranged everything to do stuff. Are you ready for bed soon? I don't know if I am, uh, but I'll... I'll try. <laughs> I'll try to be. I mean, just so it looks better and there's not just a random furnace up here. Let's also move this furnace down here. But we need to move this table. I don't think the TV takes up more space than that. I guess we'll see. Also, I've just been carrying the TV around with me the whole time. There we go. Now that's a television. <laughs> oh, man. And decorative lamp. I actually just threw out my old TV. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. So what is all this for? Uh, probably just animals. I Also, the honey came, so I got four doses of honey. It'll be worth more once the flowers are actually grown. And look at that truffle oil. Ridiculous. I like it. So day four, Jazz's birthday. All right. So where did I put her gift? A gift that I've been hoarding forever. Must be outside. Make sure you don't get heat stroke, my love. Drink plenty of water and don't overwork yourself. I don't know if I've ever drank anything, any, like, ever, actually. That's, should I be concerned? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, oh, hey, Robin. <laughs> Chrono, I made you a little treat this morning. Dig in, Gus. Thanks, Gus. That's great. Um, so let me look. There it is. I'm pretty sure that Jazz loves pink cake. So that'll be good. These are all doing nicely. Everything's doing nicely. Right, let's see if I can... Good, Jazz is here. That means I don't have to spend the day trying to find her. Miss Penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. She has such pretty handwriting. Happy birthday! You remembered my birthday! Thank you! This is great! Damn right! I am a wonderful human being. Uh, yeah, that gave her a pretty big boost. She's now above uh, Willie and Gus and Sam. So, pretty much all of the regular people except for, um, you know, most of Sam's family. 
Uh, well, half of Sam's family. Half of Sam's family is indifferent to me. Also, this is not acceptable, especially if I'm gonna go to the desert, so... Alright. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work now. I've changed the settings to the lower ones. Um, I wanna buy... Before I forget... This. And I don't remember if I bought an apple sapling, but... Couldn't hurt to buy another one, <laughs> so... There goes all my money. It doesn't even matter, like, what, what do I need anymore? Actually, there, this isn't the last house upgrade, so that I do need that. That's gonna be really expensive, but... For now, let's get my saplings on the 4th, which means they'll definitely be done well before the fall is over. Unlike my poor, uh... Whatever that was, tree. <laughs> um... This is a pretty open area. So my apple will go... Why is it being weird? Is it because I'm on a horse? Maybe. Too close to another tree? Oh no, what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> is this close? too close to another tree then? Because if that's the case, then you can get out of here. But it's supposed to be an 8 foot radius, so that's very confusing. Um, at least it told me, but that is still very confusing. Yeah, and I don't see any, like, weird seed in the ground that could cause it to say that. Oh. Well, hopefully those grow correctly. And still having issues. Alright, final change in recording. So what I do, by the way, when I'm making the recording, like, there, there's half screen and then there's full screen. And, um, so first I make it half screen so that the quality's not gonna look as good. And if that doesn't work, I also decrease the frame rate. <laughs> and that's all I can do. If I decrease the frame rate that it's recording at, and I decrease the quality, I can't make it any lower. But it does seem to be related to the hard drive, which is bad. Like, I hope it's not, like, slowly failing. Um, and it, it gets worse when it gets closer to being full, but it's not that close to being full right now, so... I just started jerking again. Oh, damn it! I brought a sweet pea for her, and then I... I was like, what do I need this flower for? Damn it. Ugh. Um, the shady looking guy behind there, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Anyway, what's the weather like in the valley? Hey, shady looking guy. It... Is that a club card? That's right. Step aside, blockhead. You may enter. That is the thing that I found like an episode or two ago. I think it was just last episode. But that's what you get for completing the quest, and then you come here! It's good to finally meet you, kid. Welcome to my exclusive clubhouse. You've got the spark. That's why I singled you out. What spark? Ah. The conduit of mystery. The art. People like us have a responsibility to keep the world alive. To give folks a taste of the extraordinary. You see, kid, the world is like a bowl of rice. It's got substance, but it ain't worth nothing without a good zesty sauce. That's where we come in. Didn't you ever wonder who put the treasure chests in that old mine shaft? I like to give people surprises. You'll understand someday. Just keep doing your best and never give up. So this is a secret casino. Uh, let's see. I have a statue of endless fortune for sale for one million. What do you say? You wouldn't think you think he's like a shady guy. The statue of endless fortune is actually amazing. <laughs> it generates useful items. It's not my lucky day. I drank too much. This is actually the fortune teller that you see on television, and during that one festival. <laughs> and yeah, you can play different games here. This is a um. I don't have enough to play. You can buy uh, special items here for specific coins. There's not really that much that's worth it, though. Um, this warps you home, which is cool for one use. Um, and this rare crow, you can actually put hats on, which is really cool. And it's, you know, one of the eight rare crows, which I, you should get an achievement for collecting all of them, but I don't think you do. But, um, yeah, and then there's slot machines, you know. It's, uh, it's a thing that I'm not really going to mess around with too much. Oh, look at this. This is a bunch of uh, information. Let's see. Steps taken, gifts given, days in Stardew Valley, dirt hoed, items crafted, items cooked, monsters slain. Wow. 
that's how many monsters I've slain, and I need to kill a thousand slimes. <laughs> it's like if all the monsters were slimes, I only would have, like, barely gotten it. But yeah, that's what that is. It, it's a cool little thing, but I'm not gonna be going... I'm not gonna be doing too much there, to be honest. And it's already two, so I need to get moving. Alright. Now, I wasn't able to find any cactus fruit or, uh, or coconuts yet, which is... Always a good thing to get when you come here. There's a cactus fruit. A bunch- okay, there we go. They were all up here this time. <laughs> wow, and there's a lot of them. I approve of all of this. Excellent. Yeah, because there are people that like those. Alright, into the bridge. Now, last time I got to level 25, I'm not going to do anything crazy like that. Also, it's really nice to have the maximum level pickaxe for this, because a lot of the rocks uh, take multiple hits at this point. Oh, let's go down. I'm a slime hunter, anyway. Oh, this is one of those uh, long winding guys. Long and winding. Well, let's go to the center. Oh, or let's battle. I didn't check my luck. I should have checked my luck before I came here. I, I don't know if it would have stopped me, but it might have. But uh, I just got two iridium already, so... That's really what I want. I want iridium. If I get five iridium bars, I can make the iridium ring, which is the best ring in the game. Unless there's some really secret ring I don't know about, but I don't think so. Usually there's like a bunch of, uh... Pots or whatever in the center. It doesn't look like there is this time, there's just a slime boss. I will fight the boss. And then hopefully find the way out, because I haven't found a staircase. <laughs> yeah! Oh, hello. Flawless. Not, not quite flawless. Alright, well now just to get out of here. Still can't believe I, I just had the hammer this entire time. <laughs> like, no wonder, like, I should have never come here. I died twice. Unnecess- well, the first time I, I had a good weapon. It's not a great weapon. That took forever to find. <laughs> I had to chop so many robs. It's already 5.50. Ugh. Ah. And I'm doing a lot better at not getting hit, at least. Quartz on the ground. Emerald. I really just want slimes, though. I want your delicious purple slimes with your delicious iridium deposits. For that's the reason they are purple, like my boots. The slimes themselves may in fact be part iridium, which is why they're so hard to kill. There it is. Ugh. Should have brought that bomb with me, eh? Would have had a good chance of finding the way- oh god, yeah, if I had two bombs... Almost definitely be in the next floor by now. <laughs> Actually, the best way to go here is to just bring, like, 50 bombs. It costs, you know, money, but eventually- I mean, you see how much more money I'm getting now. And there are people that have more efficient farms than me that are really trying to get, like, tons of money. They can just take bomb after bomb after bomb after bomb and just never even use the pickaxe. Then they can find their way down really easily, they can find holes. And you can get down to a pretty low level, and the lower the level you are, the higher the chance of getting iridium from uh, slimes and stuff. Well, that was nice. I, this is one of my worst runs as far as coming here. There we go. I, it pro I might have bad luck, I don't know. Didn't check. But I'm just not finding... Uh, but finding a lot of things. Or rather, it's not that I'm not finding things, it's that I'm not finding the exit, like, fast at all. Here. 
And I got two iridium. Like, sometimes you come here and you get no iridium, so... I think I'll leave at, like, 10 o'clock. That seems like a good time. Yeah. Aha! Perfect. Finally some luck. Well, that's... Alright, that was an insane bout of luck. Where I not only found, um... Three exits at once. But I got an Iridium Bar. Not Iridium Ore, an Iridium Bar. That's like finding, uh... Five Ore. <laughs> and a Coal, I guess. And Time. <laughs> Here. That's weird. Ooh. I hope he doesn't revive behind me. I want this Ruby. Damn it. Oh, he got me. And he did a lot of damage. Now there's a bunch of creepy mummies coming after me. Alright, we gotta eat one of these. You! Boom! I brought my, uh, super meal that I, I forget where I got that from. But, um, I'm not gonna use it since I got here so late. I wanna use that on a day that I'm here for longer. Can I? Oh, it's ten. Maybe I should just leave. I kinda wanna go down one more level, though. But then I didn't, cause screw it. I, pfft. Couldn't find the ladder. It's taking too long. But I have to remember that Sam loves cactus fruit. I wrote it down. He's got to get the cactus fruit. <laughs> so I give that to him twice a week. He'll be maxed out, which is at only at eight in no time. It's really his father that's the issue. He, uh, he likes weird things. And he only likes two of them. Urgh, okay. Uh... Not... not good. Let's just sell things, I'll save, and then I'm gonna have to stop recording for a bit. How did we do? Those gems really aren't worth all that much when you think about it. Maybe I shouldn't even be worrying about them. But, um, you know. Oil and cheese is worth a lot, and that- oh, that's right! I didn't even mention that I harvested strawberries again. <laughs> so, we got another, uh, whole bunch of crap from that. Very nice. And there we are. Alright, well I don't trust my computer. It's betrayed me. So... I'll, uh, I'll do this later. <laughs> Alright, yeah. It's, um... It's been a long time for me, <laughs> I think the... It's been at least two weeks, I think, since I recorded the beginning of that. Yeah. I'm going to town today. I just need to stretch my legs a bit. Yeah, I don't- I don't know what the hell was going on before. Have I even used this television since I bought it? Like, you get to- you get to see what's actually happened. I'm- I'm kind of in the way there. Let me move over here. See, look at that. You never got a good, like, shot of that guy before. Um... So yeah, no, enough time has passed- it, it just seems... increasingly ludicrous to me that this LP is going on the way it is. <laughs> so I do want to try to cut out more. But, you know, I don't want to scrimp. Either. It's a balance. Thank you for the magical mushroom, Mr. Man. House should be ready tomorrow. Wait, did you say tomorrow? Wait, I don't, I don't want to stab her. Oh, she doesn't talk again. These guys are all just one-time talkers. They never talk twice. That's their rule. It's their game. It's their motus operandi. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't... Since it's been so long, if I had any long-term goal, I honestly don't entirely know. So, uh, um, I see a lot of my grass is being eaten, but the animals are adapting to the new locations. Meet, meet, meet. Here. How's this all going? Any, uh, oat? Oh my. <laughs> the empire increases. Go, coffee beans, to glory. Actually, before I forget, let's, uh,. I don't have any truffles on me right now, but I do have this. Hopefully I'll find another truffle. But yeah, um... I'm kind of thinking... Uh... I mean, I really, I really... I, I need to, um... Make up... For... Like, I need more iridium. I'm, I'm just, like, fumbling my words there. I need more iridium. I wish I had had more iridium a long time ago. So, I might go back to the mines yet again. Yes, pickaxe. That's what you need to farm. It's what all the farmers use. It's a pickaxe, of course. Um, I finally have a full row of these. 
I mean, I have to decide when I'm gonna stop this insanity. So I can't just keep on making coffee beans forever. Or can I? You can. You can until the summer, until the season changes and it gets completely ridiculous. Uh, it is Friday, however. Let's go check the the woman or the man. Oh, this finally grew. That grew way too late. What the hell? I should have grown. I mean, I didn't plant it that late, did I? Did I? Should have given me oranges or whatever. Give me something good. All disappoint. What a boop boop soup soup. That's expensive, but I'm buying it. Do I want a chair? I don't need a chair. Um, I think I can make an iridium sprink. Yep, I just need a gold bar, and then I can make an iridium sprink sprink sprinkler sprinkler sprinkler. Um, I might as well go get hardwood on him here, and then I'll make the iridium sprinkler and I'll figure out where to stuff it. Of course, the real question is, do I even have seeds at this point? <laughs> Wild- wow, I made some weird wines, didn't I? Mushroom wine, no. Che cheese wine, no. Uh, cactus wine? Oh, cool! I never did that before. Uh... So yeah, gold. Just need one. And... Kapowie! Let's see if they're- oh, I kinda wanna- I don't know where I'm gonna save. I guess I'll save them in here. I, I wanna save, uh... Fiddlehead. Oh, and finally, this is what I. This is why this is here. I wanted to make ancient. Oh, I already. I already put cactuses in there. Well, I want to make ancient wine. <laughs> the most old school of all wine. Yeah, we're gonna sell these. There we go. Uh, ask Red sell the coconut. I was. I think I had that as gifts, but sell this too. I don't even need this. I don't need any of it. Now where- oh, I want to keep the cactus fruit, I think. They're good for- yeah, they're really good for healing. Uh, I think there was- I made some weird contraption somewhere. There's that there. I had- yeah, I had this. So, we're gonna put this here. And obviously I can do more than that with that, uh... Because it's an iridium sprinkler, it's gonna it's gonna sprinkle way more than just those uh, this little patch. But for now, I don't feel like messing with it, so we're gonna leave it. Because every second that I wait is another second that I'm not in the mines. So cool. I keep on forgetting to bring something for Sandy though. I wonder if she likes cactus fruit. Wouldn't that be nice if she just liked cactus fruit? Excellent. <laughs> So now I don't need to worry. I can always just, uh, you know, going, uh, going outside and getting her a gift if I forget a flower, which she loves. But, uh, alright. Quick, uh, cactus. Cactus, uh, what do they call them? Those hard balls? Oh, it's been so long since I've recorded, guys. I got really far ahead in, uh, in my record. Wow, there's nothing. It said my luck was neutral, not abysmal. I got really far in recording, so I haven't had to do anything. <laughs> and also, like, a bunch of series has just ended, like, you know. Eventually this one. This one's gonna be, like, a year-long series, though, if I don't don't get moving. Like, I think I started it in... It's one of those months that starts with J. I I don't know if it was June or July, though. I'd have to check. Because I remember, like, a large part of the summer... 203 and I were in our hometown, and I, I got this game, and I was just, like, I was just playing it. I was obsessed with it. And then, you know, a few months later, she got it. And then she also became obsessed with it. Because <laughs> that's what happens with this game. Alright, well, this floor is terrible, and I, I care not to show it any longer. There we are. I think, um, I think all Iridium from now on, I'm going to save for picks. I think I have enough sprinklers right now, probably for the rest of the season. Uh, you know, I'm good. <laughs> but if I if I want to keep on coming here and getting even better, I, I'm going to need a better pickaxe. Or, I don't need a better pickaxe, but it'd certainly be better if I had a better pickaxe, right? Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, that's actually bad. That's, I'm going to have to throw that out, but I'm just surprised I found a relic such as that. Okay. Just wanted to check to see if the, uh, the sands in here were any different than the... The uh, weird 
unpacked dirt in the caves back in the mines. Oh, alright, I'm doing it. I don't think I'm in danger. Fell five levels, that's not too crazy. And I fell right next to the ladder anyway, that's that one time I died. I fell in one of those spiral caves, nowhere near a ladder. And then got murdered with my stupid, weak-ass hammer. And I hope I found some bombs so I can finish those guys off. Nyeh. Also, I hope I find, like, five more holes, and then I'm just deep in these caves early on. Wouldn't that be nice? Ugh. All the iridium I could find. Wham, wham. Like, that much iridium. I want to find that much just laying around. Kill all the slimes. Ooh! It's happening! Fell down four levels. Most I fell down was like 13 levels or something ridiculous. That was crazy. I remember I just found like two holes close to each other and the, my th for, oh my god, spicy eel. My favorite thing. This is the ultimate uh, spelunking <laughs> dish as far as I'm concerned. It not only makes you faster, I don't know if I found it before, but I, I know I feel like I've talked about it. But um, it not only makes you walk faster so that you can cover more ground, but it makes you more lucky so you find better stuff. Amazing. Drop your iridium! I need your delicious iridium innards! Ah. No? Alright, whatever. I'll take you dropping the ladder. <laughs> That's also acceptable. I hear you. Come forth! Or don't. Fine, be a coward. I know I heard you. There it is. Ha! I'm invincible! There, see? Not a single Vince! Here. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> he almost got me. Here. But he can't, because I outvinced him. And if my name was Vince... That's a name, right? Vin yeah, Vincent. If my name was Vincent... There's gotta be... How many people named Vincent have the screen name Invincible? They gotta be like... <laughs> gotta be like hundreds, right? And if not, like, come on now. You've squandered your name. Ah. Lack of iridium saddens me, but the death of slimes heartens me. A hole... Three levels, I mean, <laughs> every hole is one less level. This is a very tiny room. Oh. Yeah, no, this is an extremely tiny room they put me into. <laughs> this is like a starting room. Well, I'm on level 16 now. Here. I hope there wasn't anything else I was supposed to do today, because, you know, obviously I didn't do it. I don't remember... I don't want to watch... I actually edited the beginning part of this video already, so that was a little bit ago, but... I don't... I don't really remember exactly what was going on. I know that I went here already. I usually don't do two, um... mind trips in an episode, but as someone pointed out, I am way behind in Iridium, like they're right. I, um... But the thing is, I really wanted to get the house up. And I'm actually... I'm disappointed I didn't get that house... the house upgrade earlier, because it is important for my end game. It's it's probably already a bit late, to be honest, to, to do fully what I wanted to do with that house. But it looks like I'm going to accomplish most of my goals in this LP in the time that I allotted myself, so I'm not too worried. I just chopped, like, every single rock in this damn room except for those ones over there. Damn it, enough with the skeleton or the mummy rooms. Like, these guys don't give me anything if I can't kill them. <laughs> and I can't kill them. Give me some bombs. Give me a bunch of bomb-ass bombs. Then we'll- then I'll skeleton all these guys. Or... Mummy. <laughs> I mean, I wish there were skeletons, and maybe they'd count for my, uh... My valley defender thing. But nothing you kill here counts for valley defender except for- uh-oh. This is where it all turns dark! No, I, I got it. This sword will keep me safe. Hopefully I'll also get some more spicy eels. Oh, good. Good. My pickaxe will not keep me as safe. Yeah, keep them coming. Oh, there's a bomb. I'm gonna kill those guys now. Well, this might cut my trip a little bit short. <laughs> this is... This is pretty dangerous and it's 10 o'clock. Oh my god, a bomb. Another bomb. I got three bombs. Alright.
There we are. Hey guys, I just cleared out a room for us to party. Why don't you come on down? It'll be fun. It'll be the most fun you ever had. I mean, you guys know what straight lines are, right? No. The answer was no. But I'm over here. There, I need to get out. Okay. Later, bro! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> that was not the noise I was expecting. They gave cloth. Because <laughs> they're mummies, get it? They're wrapped in it. Alright. Uh, let's kill... Oh my god, there's four of them. Cluster up, friends! Just gotta KO them before you drop the bomb. Or they won't die, they'll just get knocked down. I don't think that was fast enough to get them all, but whatever. I'll get one of them. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh well. Uh, oh, there's a jade over there. Well, moderate value. Damn it. Look how clustered they are now. I could have gotten them there. Whatever. Oh, that's an aquamarine. I thought that was a jade. Alright. Well, I got to level 21. I didn't find nearly as much iridium as I wanted to, but I didn't have good luck today, so... Uh, I'm not gonna come back here unless I have exceptional luck, let's say. That'll be next time, maybe. Return to Star de Valle. Star de Valle. Oh, what was that? What, did I just get an achievement? You heard that, right? I'm not crazy. What, what, oh, what, like, oh, maybe, I bet it was related to the house. It's just weird that it didn't actually show me what just happened. Oh, my. Look at all the, well, not all this. There's nothing different here. Oh, no. <laughs> Abigail, are you trapped up there? Um... Well, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Well, I guess, uh... Put the TV there. Move you here. Okay. That works. Now I can watch TV right when I wake up. Weather for tomorrow is beautiful and sunny! And, alright, natural... So, no minds today. But I think the episode's mostly over, but I'm actually gonna do, like, a day skip here. And end it tomorrow. Abigail's gone. Uh, so she must be outside. Probably, she's probably angry that the house upgraded and she couldn't look at it. Um, fisherman wanted. Need a good pufferfish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment. Huh. Well, too bad that woman was selling pufferfish yesterday. She's entranced with the music. That's fine. So what I'm going to do, that I'm not going to show, uh, obviously animal care, but, um... And I'm just giving the farm the once-over. I'm gonna see about giving out gifts to people that are, you know, holdouts. <laughs> um, you know, people that still need... Oh, Vincent's second... Likes me second best. That's interesting. Um, if any events pop up, I'll do that. But yeah, you know, the these people, they're the ones I need to give gifts to. So I'll try to hit them all. And otherwise, it looks like everything is uh, pretty standard. Yeah. So standard Saturday... <laughs> This is the art show. <laughs> I totally forgot about it. I just coincidentally was in town. Chrono, you're here. Okay, I guess I better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Why is it, how is that one moving? Uh, okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspirations from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise on human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed? Amused? Pained? I'll leave that for you to decide. This one's called Post-Dimensional Null Space. It represents the boundaries of human imagination. The shape and the color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. I 
I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an automated humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. And last, I call this one Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Chrono. He gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this will really breathe life into our little town. Great stuff. I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. Great use of wood. Thanks for doing this. Cat face. Oh, thanks, everyone. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful pieces of art. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 G for this pink one? Am I allowed to bid? Who the hell? Oh, snap. Is that her boyfriend? That was creepy. I've never seen that guy before. Alright, well this is, um... This is, you know, this is it, really. I am gonna do some mining, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show that. I didn't know that was event was gonna happen, because I completely forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> so, you know. These aren't too expensive. At least not for me now. Alright, see you back home. Alright, I killed enough skeletons. I didn't collect the reward, though. We're gonna do that next time. <laughs> 203's come home. I want to hang out with her, so I'm going to stop recording. But I, I, if anything, this episode is too long based on me going ahead and going to the mines two times. But yeah, um, I've also got some house rearranging to do, I think. I hope you don't mind the guinea pig smell. Dude, we live on a farm. I think it's fine. But yeah, uh, so now that the house upgrade is done, I got like a few more things that I need to do, but... uh. A lot of my big goals are done. I'm mainly just waiting for uh, very specific fruits and whatnot to grow so that I can finally finish, like, almost every single job on the friendship bulletin board <laughs> like, needs to be, uh, has, like, one item that it needs. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I am going to try to scoot through these months hyper fast. I, I want to finish this before part 60, basically. That's my goal. Will I make it? I think so, but I don't know for sure, but, uh, yeah, later, happy farming.